the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K G2. This is a camera without ND, as you can see there's no button for ND, and it has the gyro stabilized image. It doesn't work in camera, it only works in resolve. So in camera, you might move the camera a little bit, go into resolve, and you can take the gyro stabilization, that data recorded by the camera, and stabilize your footage that way. But only when in resolve. You can't do it in Premiere, you can't do it in Final Cut. You can only use a gyro stabilized information from the camera in resolve. How good is it? Well, it's pretty good. It does a lot better. It's your, you know, my Mac Pro is going to stabilize footage better than the computer in a small camera. Hands down, that big computer is always going to do better. The problem, though, is as good as that stabilization is, is you can't see it while you shoot it. So, because it's not happening in camera, it's just recording the, the gyros and the movement in the camera and then stabilizing it later. If you know you're going to stabilize your image, then you need to think ahead and shoot a little wider because it is, the stabilization is still going to crop in and zoom. That's you know what's going to happen. So I wanted to see how much and how often that worked. And I shot handheld only with my five-year-old daughter running around my backyard with a balsa wood plane. And you know, this is not a great handheld camera. I can't put it on my shoulder. I could put it on a gimbal, but I wanted to see what it what it did. And I was actually really impressed. It turned out pretty well. I think when you cut frames and you make an edit and then gyro stabilize, I think that might work better. But if you gy like if you're just rolling and running and then the image is gonna the computer's gonna try to stabilize that whole long clip. And um, that's not gonna work out for you. The less expensive version without the ND is a great option for, for a lot of people like myself and other people who shoot multi-camera. You can use this camera with Blackmagic's new Ursa Mini 6K, which is the same sensor, and you can have a really true multi-camera effect with everything looking the same across the board. Brilliant use of the gyro stabilization. I'd love to see that in all their cameras. I believe it's in the Pocket Cinema cameras. I don't know if it's in the Ursa Minis. would love to see it anything down the line. I think it's a really smart um, way to incorpor in incorporate gyro stabilized footage. One of the problems with Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera G2 6K, 6K G2, whatever you want to call it, is you can't see how much Resolve is going to stabilize your footage, right? So if you use another camera and it has an in-camera stabilization, you can see when it's working. And think of like the Canon or Sony or anyone else. But this one, it's only in Resolve. I shot some 24p footage, I shot some 48 frames a second, 6K, 5K, 5.7K I mean, and, and I just wanted to kind of test all of it. And I really can't think of a better subject to shoot than this little peanut. What? Yeah. I'm not a peanut! <laughs> Did you like a, a boss wood airplane shoot? 